working. Is that working, guys? Please tell me this is working. Uh, can people hear me? We're good now? We're good now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so apparently you have to... Apparently I didn't have the option to auto-enable uh, active. Auto enable the stream as soon as I, as soon as they start receiving data. Uh, it it was a it was an option on the uh, setup uh, future stream thing, and I didn't know that was a thing. So yeah, well, that was something new I had to learn. Something new I had to learn. That's all it. That's all it was. Anyway, uh. We will be starting here pretty soon. I just had to I just had to learn how to set up get start a stream that I've set up. Let's see. Now if you excuse me, I gotta go wake up my girl. It changed a few things, Ryan. Also, hold on.
Hello, everybody. I will say though, it does seem like my it does seem like my X split has been using up more of my GPU uh, as time goes on, and yeah, it looks like it was using up like a hundred percent. Which is why I was lagging so bad yesterday. Hopefully things will be alright. Well, well, it, well then it, it kind of fits into the holiday of this, of this arcane, so maybe it'll be a good thing. I'm kid. I kid. Let's go kid. What's up? All right. Well, since we got quite a few people here, what do you say we get started then? Is everybody ready? It's show. Ooh, it's much faster now, though. I appreciate that. If everybody's ready, then. Show time. Hey there everyone, Omega Snake here, and welcome to Fatal Frame. Now, The Maiden of Black Water is a game I've had my eye on for years since it was on the Wii U, but I never got around to getting it. Basically, like, I kind of wish I did, but yeah. Uh, I never really got around to actually getting it for the Wii U, and also it's a pretty big game. So... And so, when I heard that it was getting re-released onto the Switch, you'd damn well believe I was going to get it. Now, for those who don't, for those who know, or don't know, I did actually do a bit of a Let's Play of the demo on my, on my channel a few years ago. And I was really excited, and I was really enjoying it, and I wanted to play some more. But, yeah, I uh, never got around to it.
<sighs> anyway, what do you guys what do you guys think of the decor? Also, I have my light up because uh, apparently my camera was getting a bit too dark. So if everyone's ready. Fatal Frame. The 20th Anniversary Celebration Digital Art Book. The art book can be accessed from the title menu. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. And Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater. Of course, I had to get the digital deluxe version. Based on a true story. this for the 20th anniversary of Fatal Frame. Hmm. You know, I kind of... Now I kind of want to see if they will make a... <clears throat> I kind of want to see see if they will make a anniversary collection for Fatal Frame. Yeah, this would be the fourth game. Basically. Oh, right. I also wanted to let you guys know, I have a new shirt. But yeah, let's try to also, all I ask guys is no one start, I'm not sure if it is Ghost Rider actually, but yeah, <clears throat> as long as no one starts any drama or anything like that, then everything will be fine. Classic mode. Action.
All right, is everyone ready? Is everyone ready to explore Japan's spirit world? It said, the first Fatal Frame says it was based on a true story. I'm gonna up the brightness a bit. I don't, I, hold on, let me brighten this up a bit. Let me go into XSplit and see if I can't brighten that up a bit. Nope, a little too much. Contrast. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I don't want you guys to be in the dark. All right. All right, that should help. Okay, can you guys see the go ghost in the middle of, in the middle of the frame? Let's see. The problem is, is that for some reason, it yeah, I I gotta brighten it up a bit. What does this do? Okay. Oh, okay. That changes the color. Okay. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that either. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it up a bit. Okay. Can't mess with that. All right. Can you guys see her now? You guys, let's see. Are we still are we still good good on this brightness? Uh, Cause I want you guys to be able to see things, but all right, you can see you can see the ghost in the middle of the screen on this brightness. Cause I feel like that's uh, that's about as dark as we should go. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll stay on this brightness. Lurk 
Walking in the Deep. We're playing as Miyu Hinaza Hinasaki. In the Vincent of Mount Hikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an odd half flooded build. Old half flooded building, sorry. This will turn this off. Yeah, it should be fine. Guys, focus on the game. Where the hell am I? Those... Those look like bodies. What's that rumbling? Don't forget how long it's been. I can't run. Run a how? I was wading through water. Also, is her bra pink or what? It might be. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, there's a way out that way. Oh, hi! And now they're after me. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Of course! Trapped. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, let me 
stay out of here. What? I think that's hair. What the? Can't move. No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into a shrine on top of a mountain. That mountain is where the events of this story take place. We follow the fates of three people, Yuri, Ren, and Miu. It is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Sorry, guys. Well, you knew what you got. First drop, a vanishing trace. Yuri Kozukata. By the way, she she's the girl that's in uh that's the assist trophy in Fatal Frame in Smash Brothers. Shadow reading. Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables the user to view the shadow or a trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike the psychometry practiced elsewhere. Yuri Ko Kozukata accompanies His Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability, to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikama. Sensing Yuri could in time become talented, talented in shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. Yeah. I thought that I'd be scared of death. But I can't even cry. She might have a spirit battle, I can't remember. I think so. But I, I said she know. is a assist trophy arcane. In the end, I am alone. I will end it all. Alone. Yuri? Huh? What we're looking for should be in here. This is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, oh. take this. Ah. Uh. 
This is a camera obscura. It will let you see the unseen, including the clues that will help you find what we're here for. This is your opportunity, your first case. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. Right. Let's start with a little practice. It works Nico exactly Mori hot like a normal camera. Right. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. By the way, I'm using my controller the to move this. The camera photographs the netherworld. A whole other world separate from our own. That world that we see through the lens is not the one we left. Make sure not to draw too much interest from the things you see. If you aren't careful, you might be drawn into the netherworld yourself. to be revered as sacred ground and it became a tourist destination take this post-mortem photograph it's a token it will help lead you to what we're looking for all right now don't panic but be sure to stay on your guard go on and head inside let's see what do I have as a much. I see. Let's, uh, let's not. Exit. Uh, okay, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm not one for taking camera pictures. All right. Are we ready, everyone? Let's, let's take a look. This is a post-mortem photograph. Uh. It's not just a normal photograph. It was taken to mourn the dead. It's why Ren sent us here. But it seems that this photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see whether we can find it. Creepy.
Oh, I'm back. I'm back out at the entrance. Okay, I thought there was a back door or something. to head further in then. of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The water must have washed it all the way down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over, but it looks just as flooded. Keep your eyes open, people. Whatever, well, whoever it was, is gone now. token is showing you the way. I see. These traces can lead you to the right path. Okay, so if I get lost, I could just press Let's that to see that where shadow. I gotta go. Like, to see where I gotta go. Looks like, looks like whoever went this was here went that way. So Come on, this way. All right. All right. Looks like they took our left here. Huh? Huh? Was that a shadow of the past? Echoes of the past. In places where the traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the cameras. I'll have to remember that. Mount Hikami's downfall. A dusty old book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it? Let's see. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many shrines and places of worship, as well as the natural features such as the toilet peaks and the pool of purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. Let's see. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for the beauty of its abundant clear waters and ancient mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to find rest in Ichirao 
Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off, and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned, and Ichiru Manor was buried under a slew of rock, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Ekami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notori notoriety as a suicide spot. <sighs> Perhaps because... It was a traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture. The mountains, the mountain is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill seekers interested in the occult. Joy. Yeah, he went. So whoever I'm following went this way. Here's we need a key. Uh -huh. Try using the camera obscura. What? W why the camera? When you look around through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items that they have a connection with. Find the locations from the photographs and you may discover some clues there as well. Light, light coming out of a closet, and there's a doll on top of a chest of drawers. That's probably where the key. That that might be where the key is. To view the photograph again, open the main menu and go to the tokens tab within the items and records. Here, you go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Just. I'll be. I'll be right back, Ahsoka. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, hi. Well, that wasn't very pleasant to see. Wish I got a picture of it. and a red keychain. Alright, I think I should head back to Ahsoka then. Thankfully, thankfully the key was not very far. Huh? Damn it. I just took a picture of his torso.
I didn't get a picture of his face. Shit. Uh, there's a step up here, and the part has four boats. I think this was a display on Cove. <laughs> or it was. That that doll turned around. Okay. Thought it was one of those. Let's see. Looks like a man who hanged himself, though. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Somewhere in this room. Take a look around. Right. Try searching with the camera obscure. Hold on. The seat could be hidden, invisible to the naked eye. Mm -hmm. The camera obscure will react to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those photo items back to this world by photographing the place they were taken from with the correct angle and position. Voila! Huh? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. A book. <coughs> Sorry. Well, it's in it, though. Hmm. This is what we came here for. A photo <laughs> album? We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. Right You're right. You. You're right. Let's head back before it gets dark. Yeah, okay. That, right. Because <sighs> that's usually when the ghosts start start getting a little riled up. The owner's room. Right behind you. Huh? I saw that. Yuri, searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. Psychometry allows you to see the psychic imprint as a shadow. Never follow after the shadow of someone who has been spirited away. You might end up seeing something you wish you hadn't. Does he speak from experience?
guess I'll have to check this place out another time. Let's see. Huh? I saw that. He's not done. Ghosts will try to attack, attack, or grab you. A ghost grabs you, counter attack by photographing it. Off me! The ghost recoiled when you took a photograph of it. Maybe taking more of them, exercise it. Fighting ghosts. Photo a ghost's weak points to deal damage to them. The capture area, the rectangle in the center of the screen, is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you're out of film, though. Sometimes spear fragments will appear when you deal damage. Sp spear fragments. Spear fragments will break off when a ghost takes damage. After a time, they are reabsorbed. Photograph the fragments before that happens. Targets and shutter chains. When five or more targets are in view, take a photograph will knock back the ghosts. The capture area will go red when during shutter chains. Keep adjusting your position so you have at least five targets, including ghost and spear fragments, in view to trigger shutter chance. Fatal frame and fatal time. When the capture area flashes red as a ghost is attacking, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Apart, apart from a knockback effect, fatal frame trigger shots trigger fatal time. When you t when you can take photos in close su succession without using film. Fatal frame shots are very useful when spirits are a little too close to you to trigger shutter chance. There! Fatal frame! Attack range and attack power. The cam obscure only has an effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far away will not take any damage. The bigger the target circle, the more damage the camera will deal. Get closer to ghosts for more powerful shots. There. <sighs> it 
Did I get him? I had a lot of people here. Where did everyone go? Everyone okay? The game's not too scary for you, is it? Mr. Hojo? Hisoka came by a little while ago. Oh, Hisoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here. Take a look. Sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm just trying to absorb some of this. Hmm. While learning about shadow reading from Hisoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of postmortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren awoke from a bad dream, he found himself, himself untor tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream or a suppressed childhood memory? This question has plagued him for some time. Only a C. can use past protagonist costume set.
Reise. Amakura, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's from. This is from. That's from Crimson Butterfly. Hojo. K Amakura. That looks like Miku Hinasaki Mayu Amakura. Antagonists for a bit. Yuhi Himono. Let's see, we're playing as Yuri for this one. Difficulty. It has been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is given a missing person case. Something Hisoka forbade. film Mount Hikami Yuri Kozukata A few days have passed <clears throat> A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn Since then Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned Yuri worries for Hisoka but isn't sure how or where to start searching As she sits waiting at the antique shop a girl named Fuyuhi Himono shows up Claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Uh oh.
Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Um... I'm looking for Hisoka Kurosawa. Is she here? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but she stepped, she stepped out. out. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. I've been waiting for her to tell me if, if if she could help me find someone. I still haven't got a reply from her. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that and without even saying a word to me. Hmm. Why is my chair keep going down? Don't worry. As soon as Ahsoka, as soon as Ahsoka gets, back, gets I'll back, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. No. That's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. Huh? Huh? Wait. Come back. Come back. Oh dear. Is this a case? Hisoka left a few days ago. It hasn't come back. Maybe this is what she's been looking at? Hisoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. Kurosawa Antiques. Hmm. Search Hisoka's room. I don't have the camera on me right now. I'm still nervous about standing here by myself, so I've never been good at handling customers. Boy, you and me both. I've only just learned how to make coffee, and I've never actually served a customer yet. Man. Man, imagine being introverted and, and being asked to watch the shop. Man, that'd be nerve-wracking. These drawers seem... Seem to be where the shop's receipts and financial, rec financial records are yet. I haven't taken a proper look through them yet. Hello, Sugar Sprinkles. Welcome to the stream. It's okay, and I take turns cleaning it. The radio has been set up as decoration. The tuner doesn't work anymore, so... It only, so it only ever puts out white noise. Creepy. Oh, wait, is that cat? I just realized. Mount Hikami. Seems to be about tradition surrounding the mountain. Let's see, Mount Hikami has long been feared to be haunted haunted in the past. Haunted. In the past, it was said that sleeping with one's feet facing the mountain was taboo. Watching the sun set behind the mountain set behind the mountains too was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Today the mo mountain is said said to call the mountain is said to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors abound of people spirited away to that accursed peak. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace of themselves. <laughs> Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the lake, lake of the departed on the mountain summit. Since becoming a tourist destination, the prevalence of such frightening tales did seem to diminish for a while. Even so, despite its fleeting status as a tourist hotspot, Mount Hikami is yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today, it has become a popular place at which to commit suicide. See, how does a place become famed for suicide? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation, and people are drawn to these spots out of a desire to not to be alone in the end. 
Interestingly, these suicide spots are rarely known as hotspot spots for spiritual activity. This is what Mount Mount Hakami makes Mount Hakami distinct from the others. It has both a tradition of suicide and has long been associated with ghost sightings. Then there are the so-called maidens of black water. It is said that if you are found by one of those maidens, they will lead you to your death. Those caught in the maiden's gaze never again leave the mountain, or so the river goes. There are also tales of specters on Mount Hekami who relive their own deaths. Though those who do not die in accordance with local practices become cursed, forced to relive their final moments for eternity. Many of the people who have been kept from committing suicide on Mount Hakami claim to have seen a maiden or one of these looping specters and felt a strong compulsion to kill themselves. Perhaps it is because of these stories of maidens and ghosts that the mountain continues to be a popular spot for those looking to take their own life. Ugh. That's not a fun topic to talk about. Also... Also, apparently, her boobs have jiggle physics. I'm a guy. I'm gonna look. Also, I'm trying to also... Uh, I'm also trying to make... I'll uh, relieve the tension a bit. So, that's the upstairs. You call that a, you call that a run, girl? I call that fast walking. That is a pretty kimono. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Eh. Eh, fair enough, Owl. But still. This is Soka's room. She really likes the traditional Japanese style. Okay. Let's see. Lost item case files. Let's see. Client. No name. Missing item diary. Take token photo of the deceased. Details, locate mother's diary, client seeks info on their late mother, relates to a deceased individual, apply caution. The, the caretaker of the deceased had burned the diary at her request. Let's see, storeroom key, photo of the deceased, item located, had been hidden by the client's parent, returned to the client. Let's see, she doesn't seem to write the name of the client. Let's see, what found on client's desk was in an obvious place, but somehow eluded the client. Oh man, that's, that's gotta be embarrassing. Like, imagine, say, uh, asking Hisoka to find to find a diamond ring. Client seeks lost engagement ring. Requested 
fiance not be notified, date of wedding soon approaching, found on client's desk, was in an obvious place, but somehow eluded the client. Don't you just hate that? That you're, that, that, ba that basically it's like, like, it feels like you have, like, partial blindness, blindness sometimes. You know, you guys know what I mean? Like, you're just like, I looked there, and I didn't see it there, and then when someone else looks there, they all of a sudden, they find it. Has anyone ever, has that ever happened to you? I'm sure that's happened to us at least once. Where you're just like, you're looking for something, for something, can't seem to find it, and then someone else looks for it, and they find it in such an obvious spot, I'm just like, God dang, why didn't I see that? I could have sworn I looked there. You know what I mean? Also, don't worry, it's just the radio in the store. Ignore it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure we've all experienced that at least once or twice. It's like it's embarrassing, embarrassing, but it, it's ha it happens to the best of us. And I know it's happened to me a few times. Times where I'm just like, God dang, why didn't I see that? Anyway, let's see Ren Hojo. Huh, actually written the client's name. Oh, that's the thing we just found. Art of Shadow Reading. Let's see. Yeah, but by the time you... But when someone else finds it and it's in such an obvious spot, you you can't deny, hun, it is a bit embarrassing when that happens. I know, I feel embarrassed. Let's see. Psych... Shadow reading is the ability to read traces of the past, not unlike the ability commonly known as psychometry. By following these traces, it is possible to find things that have gone missing or which are no longer visible. Thing, things that are dem demonstrably there, but for reasons unknown, are all but invisible. Things the owner wished wished to be forgotten. Things whose owners have passed away. Things that are no longer no longer wish to be seen. Things drawn partway into the netherworld, invisible within our own. Such items can be called back to the world of the living. Unlike these subjects, however, people who have been spirited away must not be chased after lightly. In many such cases, cases they have been taken by creatures of the netherworld who lingered nearby. Utmost caution must always be applied. I never. I'm not. Let's see what we got here. Nothing here. Okay. Hmm. The sender's name reads Fuyuhi Himino. That's the girl that was just in the store. This must be Fuyu who is missing person request. Maybe it could provide some clues as to where Hisoka and Fuyu, Fuyu went. Let's see. Dear Miss Kurosawa, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she probably spirited away. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive. I know it, but something has to be done and quick. Remember when you found that precious picture of me and Haruka? I'm so, I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. Okay. Shows for you, for you. He looked shy, and another girl. They look close. Hisoka. She must have gone to Mount Hikami to look for this girl. Well, guess who's going to be chasing after her? 
Mount Hikami. A place where many come to take their lives. I'm positive that for you he must have come here. The Shadow Spring is here, but it is on the other side. Actually, not this game in particular. I'm wear I'm wearing a past protagonist outfit. But very good eye though, Sugar Sprinkles. Dang. Fuyu is somewhere on this mountain. I should be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. Yep. Alright. She definitely went came this way. Now the game's officially started. For you, he didn't come this way. I guess I don't want to get too lost. I'll just have to keep going this that way then, don't won't I? It's a pool of purification. Oh great. You know you're a conventional fashion. <laughs> okay. That's actually great to know though, but still great eye though. I'm honestly impressed. But yeah, this is a past protagonist outfit. This is not her normal everyday outfit. This is a This is the outfit that was worn by the protagonist of Fatal Frame 2, which yes, was in the early 2000s. It was on the PS2. Hmm. Hmm? Right. She went that way? Hmm. Oof. Ro the road has collapsed and the sto so stone stairs are cut off. Must have been a landslide. The old road seems to carry, carry on up the edge of the cliff. What? Oh, great. I don't have the camera on me. Ugh. I'm going to guess Hisoka had it. Hmm? There's something there. of me what the hell sometimes a ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object release the button at the right moment to dodge it if you do get grabbed use the sticks to break their hold on you first brochure oh she dropped it curse on it this should be very useful. So this is the way away from the pool of purification to an un to the unfathomable forest. Got it. Let's see. Yeah, I can't go that way. So this is where I am, Pool of Purification, Shrine of Dolls, Unfathomable Forest, okay then. Alright, Pool of Purification. 
purification, right? All right. Oh wait, I don't have the cam. Right. Ugh, oh, this sucks. I don't have the camera on me. Coals that light the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of the black water. The wetness gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. An old stone monument has been set in the Rocky Hollow. It's covered in moss, so I can't tell if there's any writing on it. it. Must be a memorial for those who lost their lives in the landslide. I think someone, I think I just saw someone jump. Herbal medicine. Yeah, I think someone just took a, I think someone just took a dive. <sighs> All right. Grass and trees jut out from amongst it. Must have collapsed a long time ago. Let's see. to avoid conflict I will I will I can't defend myself without the camera there's something in the water mm -hmm. wait Soka's camera what's it doing here Stun lens, a lens that forcibly staggers the photograph subject. To use it, equip it to your camera and press Y when you have enough spirit power. Switch. This allows you to equip and take pictures with different lenses. Great! Fatal Frame!
Bring it on, I dare you! Gotcha! Fatal frame! The camera must have been carried here by the current. This means Hisoka is on the mountain too. But I should focus on finding Fuyuhi first. She can't have gone far. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, unlike some unlike some other players who may who may try to avoid who may try to avoid getting so close I'm not afraid of getting close as long as I can see them I'm okay like that is my main fear of what I can't see but I am never afraid of something I can see My whole thing is, is that if I could see you, I can, I could, if I could see you, I can handle you. Stick to infinite, to the infinite one for now. Only when she's phasing. And even then, I know it's her, so I just have to be careful. <laughs> Woman on a cliff. There she goes. Hey, but I, but hey. I can't see to the bottom. No one could survive. Nobody could survive a drop from this height. Hi! From here, you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's a shrine road wiped out by the landslide, and the path that leads up here. Going the right way? Yeah, I am. Between the rocks, I can see the stone lanterns by the pool. It looks like it's deserted. Let's see. Which way? Which way did she go? She went that way. So let's see what's over here then. Hmm. Fence. There's, so there's something on the bottom ground over there. Hmm. A tall fence blocks the path. Beyond is an expanse of forest. There doesn't appear appear to be any way around. Alright, some film. Uh, I gotta be a little faster on letting go. Uh, that's what happens when they don't show up for a while. You get complacent and then and then eventually they start Ugh. Start getting the drop on you. Mm -hmm. 
Fuyui he Himino entering the forest. Alright, gotta be quick on the trigger finger. Hmm? What's this? There's a torn note. I looked into Mount Hikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot? Haruka wouldn't go go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear alone. I read how it calls to people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She's all always opens up to me. She's alert even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets, and the more my heart starts pounding. Great. To the unfathomable forest, then. Let's go. How's everyone enjoying the game so far? Go do something to calm down. The stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. If I follow these lights, I shouldn't get lost. Huh? Oh, hi. Don't fade a frame. Shutter chance. <sighs> oh, I hope so, Al. Because right now, as long as I can s see them, I'm all right. Bad. 
Fair enough, Owl. <laughs> I should try Resident Evil 7. I actually do have it. Hmm. Looks like she went that way. Okay. Can you guys hear me okay? water. Clean water used for purification. Ooh, it's a full health. Full health potion. Hell yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Small Jesus statues have been arranged around the air hole. This place must have some... So, this must have been a place for some significance. Let's see. Hmm. But I don't see anything. Hmm. Wind echoes from the holes in these rocks. It's blowing up from underground. The low howl of the wind sounds like, almost sounds like somebody's voice. take the time to look around and see if I can't find anything. A ten? Somebody was, somebody was here. Huh? sleeping bag poking out of the tent. How long have I been here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm glad I decided to do things right and come here come here to die. This place feels right. I thought I might get lonely, but there are people here. People who aren't alive. This place may be as strange as people say. I heard children playing just now. I tried to get a look at them, but they ran off before I could get close. Did they come here on their own? Or were they left here? Earlier, I heard the sound of raspy breathing and running. After that, I heard a scream. I was scared and held my breath. I'm not scared of death, but that was terrifying. I saw a woman dressed in white today. She was draped in cloth, so I couldn't see her face. She seemed to stare at me for a while and then left. Which side is she on, I wonder? Will she be back? I saw her again. She turns up every day, watching me. I feel her gaze, but not her presence. As soon as I notice her, she disappears. She must be constantly watching me. I heard a voice, a mournful voice, like screaming. No, like singing. It was a call of some kind, but not for me. Not yet. My time is yet to come. Everything I brought with me is gone. Now I have nothing. I like it here. Nothing matters now. This was the right choice. I'm glad I came. She will come soon. She will, she will take me away. She's calling. I'm Whew. 
place gives me this place can give you the heebie jeebies. Alright, good film. Creepy AF. God, I feel like I'm holding my breath every damn time. Oh, hi. What's up? Double dog area. Gotcha. Fatal frame. They may be slow, Al, but but still, it's like they but still they do they do have a decent amount of health, so I still have to be careful. It's only when I do the fatal frame attack that that they that I actually push them back. much film. Let's see. I'm 
still kind of exploring, but I do feel like I should probably press on. Huh? Looking up a tree. Please trace ends here. Well, that's not pleasant. Uh, just me fighting off some ghosts, honey, and trying to follow someone. Let's see. I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children, and now she's gone. I realize how bored she is to me, how irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I had said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to. Fuyui has been here. I can use this note to pick up a trace again. Huh? Whoa! Hi! The Hanged Woman. Huh? Oh, hi. I've got company! They may be slow, but but I can't do anything if my camera's loading. Gotcha! Fatal frame! No thanks. Ah, oh, there's the other guy. For it. Gotcha! Shutter! Now then, let's see. Alright, looks like I'm going this way now. Alright, looks like for you he went this way. We can't pick up our trail. Mm -hmm. Just a normal stroll through the forest. That's all it is. Nice. Well, it's nice to see. Hmm. I, I'm on, I'm on edge. I'm on guard. I wouldn't say I'm scared, but I am on edge.
Actually, guys, I, I don't know if I ever told you about this, but I actually have taken a photography class. It was actually the first class I took in college. Granted, the teacher wasn't too great, but I'm not going to talk about that. Like, they weren't really mean or anything, but god, they were strict. In terms of in terms of grades, and I, but I did, but I still did learn something from learn a few things from the class. So I wouldn't say it was a, it was completely bad. I did learn some things, especially about lighting, like and how important it is. Something I. It's not something I uh, normally talk about. Oh, hi! Swept away maiden. Hey, I got a good picture of that. Hey, the more pictures I ta take, the more points I have, and the more I, what I can spend. So. But yeah, I did take a photography class. Uh, hell, hell, I actually have an old style camera. In fact, hold on a sec. I'll be right back. I need to take a break anyway. Besides, I'm sure a couple of you need a need a bit of a breather to get your blood blood pressure back in order. So, who is here right now? Because I do want to talk about something.
<laughs> Honey, are you there too? Mom was telling you not to cook anything. Odd. But I wanted to show you guys something. This is the camera I had when I was in college. See, I had to get a, I had to get an older like old camera uh, that basically had like this is basically an older camera that. I uh, could also use black and white film. Uh, yeah, I did have to use black and white film for something for some pictures, but also I but also eventually we moved on to color, and yeah, this and yeah, this one has multiple different uh not knobs to basically help focus the picture to kind of zoom in and until I was ready to f take the picture and yeah. And yeah, and and yeah, I this thing also has a thing where also has a handle to where I manually have to flip this in order to move the move the next ne, to the next available picture. Well, I wasn't completely into photography, but it was a prerequisite for my uh, for what I was trying to get with my degree. And the reason you didn't see it, hon, is because I kind of forgot about it because I put it in my uncle's closet so that way I wouldn't lose it. So, but yeah, I was thinking about it and I'm just like, you know what, I do want to show it. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is my the camera I used back when I, back when I had a photography class. But yeah, whenever I had to take pictures, I had to go to I, I had to go to I think either Walmart or CVS to get the uh, to get the film developed. Uh, uh, part of the class was not show, was not basically asking us to develop our own pictures. But no, uh, I did have to take I did learn a few techniques. I also learned uh, what certain things can do to certain pictures. Uh, like basically, uh, if you actually hold a picture open, uh, it will capture any and all motion. So honestly, if you know what you're doing, you can make a make a picture look blurry on purpose to add a bit of a motion blur to it. So yeah, so this is basically my old camera. And yet, yeah, th this is not digital in the slightest. This is all. This is all. Ma um, this is a pure manual camera. And in case you're wondering what the slot is here, uh, it's for flash. It's for a flash. I didn't have one. And then this knob right here, uh, you pull it up. If I can. I don't have any nails. You use this to re to basically reel in the uh, film once it once it ran out. Cause you, cause you know what, cause I don't know if all of you know this, but if you expose a pic, expose film, pure film to light, it will erase whatever was on it. So you do have to be careful with that. It didn't, oh, that's interesting. But, but yeah, the, but yeah, this is basically my...
and yeah, and that's and that's that's great. Like honestly, it doesn't surprise me that that what you were trying to do doesn't require taking pictures. Let <laughs> me learning how to take pictures. So, but still, this was like I wasn't fully in fully interested in taking taking photography. I just had to take it because it was a prerequisite. But uh, but I did learn quite a bit, especially with how about especially about lighting. The one the big takeaway I got it was I got from uh, I got from photography class is learning about about how to fully use lighting. Because without it, uh, because if you don't know what you're doing with lighting, you can really mess up a, fo a photo uh, pretty bad. Which is why I, which is why I, I, I only use the light in front of me because it, it does what it's supposed to. It's making sure the that the focus is on me. And but it's bright enough that you know you can see around, you can kind of see around me, but your the focus is on me. Also helps I'm white. So, but let's see. It's called Pokemon Snap. Yeah, but Pokemon Snap doesn't get into the intricacies. Like, seriously, these these dials. I would love to see that, hon. No lie. I would love to see see you actually pursue that, and I will be in full support of it too. Anyway, but yeah, the this I had to use to basically get into get everything into focus. Like, I had to really learn the ins and outs of this thing. Hmm. So, but yeah. Uh, uh, if you want, I can tell you about how important lighting really is. In fact, I can kind of show you. Uh, so here's the thing. I see Ori, but yeah. So if I do this, uh, it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad, bad. But like it adds a little bit of light light to my background, but it doesn't take complete focus off of me. However, there is a thing. However, if I turn it up to full. Uh, it kind of it kind of ruins the shot, doesn't it? Like you, like this is one of the big thing things you have to make sure of when you're taking a picture outside. Side, you got to make sure that the sun is not behind your subject, if you can help it, because that can really mess up the shot. Uh, so you. So that is so that is something you do have to consider is is your source of light and where it is relative to the subject you're taking the picture of. That is if you want to take like good pictures. Like if you're trying to take a picture of a person, you really got to pay attention to the lighting. Oops, wrong button. So yeah, like if I put it right here, it's it's pretty dim. Dim. It just adds a little bit of background light and stuff like that. So so that <clears throat> that's basically what I learned about uh about lighting and how to like is I'm sorry if I'm boring everyone with my uh with my mini lecture on lighting, but yeah, no it is pretty important important because because honestly you'll uh if i was like if i was standing right here the the photo i would i look a little bit dark because the light is behind me and it's not shining onto my face whereas if i would do this i light up a bit see that's kind of how that's kind of how lighting works you have to try to make sure it's shining properly on your uh, subject <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, I hope people are. I hope people find this interesting. Because now the chat got quiet and that worries me. But, but, uh, did, like, did my, uh, explanation come through okay? But I, w but I will also say uh, that that certain lighting can also really help up the atmosphere of certain pictures. Because I had to take a few, uh, I had to take a few emotion shots. Like basically, I had to try to make sure I capture an emotion like really well, and I had to play around with the lighting a bit to really get it right. <clears throat> please tell me no one please tell me you guys didn't just then just leave me because I started giving a lecture I'm sorry it's just I just like explaining what I've learned from my uh, what I've learned in my life Yeah, the reason I have the lighting the way it is is because honestly, uh, especially since I'm playing a horror game, I feel like low light would be good. Ha! A couple times, actually, yes. Like, not like that, but not like that, Alacris, but they, but I did get some, I got some pretty good shots that I'm actually proud of uh, during that class. Again, my teacher was pretty strict in terms of grading. Uh, like, I did pass a class, but uh, I didn't... I did not get straight A's, I'll tell you that. But I'm. But there were some shots that I was actually... That I'm actually kind of proud of. And uh, if I can find them, uh, maybe I'll show them sometime. But yeah. It's funny. I'm playing a horror game, and I get into showing... About talking about my... Uh, camera camera and how to take and also about lighting so but yeah if you want to take a good picture just do yourself a favor and don't forget about the lighting like really try to think about uh how the lighting is on your subject if it's too bright you're gonna bleach out their face but if it's too too dark well it's not gonna well, then you can barely see them or, or their features. So it just like, that's basically what that's basically all I'm really trying to ask is just do yourself a favor and just don't forget the lighting. All right. J just don't forget about it when you're going to take a picture. Anyway. Anyway, I should probably get back to Fatal Frame, because, yeah, that's what you guys are here for. But still, I do appreciate everyone actually listening to my, I, I guess, to my pseudo-lecture. So we get back to Fatal Frame then, everyone.
God, that would have been a that would have been a douchey move if I if I got grabbed because I couldn't see the hand. Anyway, I guess I should take a look at this. Okay, that's unsettling. What's with all the dolls? Jesus. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements. Uh, this, this is unsettling. Dolls of various sizes have been placed around the shrine. White faces with faint smiles gaze out from the dirty kimonos and black hair. Huh? She was examining a door. I swear to God, if they start looking at me, I'm go I am not going to be happy, man. I'm going to move my microphone back a bit. Look, doesn't look like for you, he went into the shrine. Door's locked. since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called The Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Hi! Hi! The ambiance is just... It's fantastic! <laughs> like, just the atmosphere is fucking fantastic, man! I'm on edge! I'm on guard! Doll... I'm gonna say this right now. I've never been a big fan of dolls like that. Huh? Nope. 
Nope, don't want any of that. Looks like for you, he went, went this way. Oh, hi. Bring it on, I dare ya. Double dog dare ya! Doing, I'm not gonna let you. I don't know what he was doing, but I didn't like it. Like, was he charging up for an attack or what? Whatever it was, I didn't like it. See why it wouldn't be, Al. You go, Seer. Take this. It's tense, especially when there's mel multiples of them, I swear. It's like, when it's one ghost, like, there, it's no problem. But when it, there's just multiples of them, that's when it starts getting a bit tense. Huh? 
For you he. For you he. Watching the sunset makes me want to cry. I have no home to go back to. Nobody would be there if I went back. Everyone would be everyone would be there, yet no one would. I know that now. That's why I came to the mountain. My grandma used to tell me never to go to the mountain at sunset. But my feet let me here. I chased the sun and it kept getting bigger. I couldn't stop. I felt the need to write something, so I'm scribbling this down. I had to go into the water. I had to write this first. I had to write something. What else should I write? She's calling to me. I have to go before the sun sets. So you he. For you he. For you he. Haruka. She's here on the mountain. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? No, but she's here. I I have to find her. <gasps> Wait. Huh? I'll go and I'll look, go for, and look Haruka. for Haruka. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a trip. I have to lead her out. To die alone oh. in a place like this. For you, he. Uh oh. It's those kids. What? 
fatal frame! Back off! Basically, but I basically, I hope those kids go back. Can finally rest in peace. Uh, damn, they did a bit of damage though. Azure's still here. If she is, I have a feeling she didn't appreciate me doing that, but I didn't have a choice. They were attacking me. I actually took a bit of damage. I'll come look for Haruka, but you need to get out of here. This place is not safe.
so what do you mean by you're a little freaked out? Like, what, is it naked in here? Yeah, like, you see, like, I've, like, so far the ghosts haven't been too bad. She said not to film. But, but but now I see her. But yeah, I'm. I need to get for you out of here. Also, that sh I'm gonna say this right now. This is for everyone who's listening. That shrine of dolls just creeps me out to no end. Yeah, like, like, um, no, no. What freaks me out is when is when you turn your back. You look back at them, and their and their heads have turned. That's when it freaks me out. Yeah. Well, right now I have the ability to exercise spirits thanks to the camera. Right. All right. I'm gonna get back to this then. Love you, honey. And I appreciate you sticking around. I'm definitely going to need you around. Yeah, but like, like, but you get why, what I mean, though, when I say, say that the ghosts, as soon as I'm able to see them, they don't scare me. That's, that's when I start to panic. But yeah, as soon as I'm able to see them, uh, I can handle them. So, so this is not like Phasmophobia where you know the ghost is around but you can't see them until either they make themselves known or they're hunting you. And I always pray it's the, it's the former. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to it. Love you, honey. Boop. Arcane, the fact that you did that makes me freaking nervous!
Oh no. Uh, huh? Fuyuhi. Fuyuhi. Where are you? Where are you? Favorite. It must have been carried here by the river, just like the camera. Evade upgrade. This allows you to detect threats capable of being dodged. You, he is in here. I have to find her. Bring back for you, he. Huh? What? What's that singing? Also, damn it, the wet. I can't do anything about the wetness gauge. Gauge, because it's raining. For you, he. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah! Fuck, she's a ghost now! Stay back! I don't think so! Fatal frame! Where is she? Shit! I can't keep track of her! Whoa! I think she's a boss! Cha! Shit. Cha! Fatal frame! I don't think so! Shudder! Shh. Okay, okay, you can't do that. This is a boss. Back off! <sighs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Damn it! 
there! Gotcha! Fatal frame! <sighs> if you touch a week ago, it triggers a fatal glance and you'll see its memories. Aruka. Ghost got to her. <gasps> she was distracted for just a second. See about that. Tainted. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by the black water. If this happens, your health will continuously decrease. Use purifying embers or defeat all present ghosts to remove it. Back up, back off. There, that hit hard. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. There! Damn. Concentrate. There! She felt that one! She's the one that brought for you here.
for you, he can rest in peace now. But I will make sure that she, but I will fulfill what she wants to do. I'll find her friend. But first, I gotta get out of here. Out of here. This place is getting a little too, this place is getting a little too crazy. Ghosts are, the ghosts are starting to get a little too riled up. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -oh. See what I mean? Shh. This mountain's getting too dangerous. The ghosts are really getting riled up. A lot, Ryan. <laughs> Run! While searching for her friend, Fuyuhi Himino ended up taking her own life. Having witnessed Fuyuhi's final moments, Yuri knows she wasn't alone when she died. What of that other woman who killed herself in that same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden, Sodden from the rain. Yuri managed to locate Hisoka's camera obscura, along with a charm she always liked to wear. For now, she must return to the antique shop alone. Hey! That's what I like to see! Ren Hojo. Uh, basically, the client that I was chasing after for Yuhi, she ended up slicing her neck while she was looking for her friend because a ghost was trying to persuade her. She got to, she was able to fight it off, but she got distracted for a single second, and she became a ghost. And be and the boss of, well, that air of that chapter. Just, but man, that, I'm gonna say this right now, guys. This game is not for the squeamish. Like, if you can handle the dark material of this game, then, well, I hope you'll still stick around. Ren Hojo, the author. Author who sent Hisoka to find the photographs take a closer look at the album. One photo catches his eye and decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with a camera, with the camera obscura and Rui, his assistant. Psychic lens. Berserk, so I'm fine. I have a shit ton of points. I might as well use them, right? Let's 
rock and roll. Third drop, the postmodem photography, Ren Hoja. Ren Hojo, a writer, is haunted by a reoccurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual. He receives an album of postmortem photographs located, located on his request by Hisoka. Upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant, Rui Kagamiya. I don't know, Ryan. She just disappeared. I wish I knew. I just found her camera washed up by the river and, pl and her charm just before I had to leave. Because the ghosts were getting a little too riled up. She's beautiful, but she looks sad, too. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't she the type of woman that you get nervous around? Yeah. Yeah. There may be more of this Look stuff out there. out there. Shall I call Hasoka? No, let's, no, go, there let's go there ourselves. It'll be quicker It'll that be way. Quicker that way. At this hour? It won't take long. It won't take long. <sighs> so then, shouldn't you take the camera obscura? Probably. You haven't idea. used it yet. This could be your chance. People say there's something off about that place. Okay. Okay. Someone sent the bag out to a prison for me. I should take that shadow reading report with me, too. That'll come in handy. Rui's always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa. Ren's camera. Camera obscura. Hmm. Looks a little newer than the old one. Measure. This displays the current health of a locked on enemy. Oh, that'll help a lot. Unfinished manuscript. Doesn't yet have a title. I'll need more materials to solidify the thing. Let's see. Let's see. Memorial portrayer, the act of photographing dead bodies, was a practice in Western countries in the 19th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn keepsake of remembrance. While researching the phenomenon, I discovered that a similar custom made its way to Japan as well. Known as post-mortem photographs, a small number of these photos still remain. I've been fortunate enough to obtain one such photograph, which I found to contain a certain beauty lacking in its western counterparts. When a photograph... When photography first arrived in Japan, it was accompanied by the prevalent superstition that photographs could steal a person's soul. Whether anyone truly believed this or not, it surely gave postmodern photography a special significance in Japan. If photo photos were taken with this belief in mind, the postmodern photographs would not simply have been taken as keepsakes or for mourning purposes. Rather, the practice may have carried a certain deeper spiritual significance. Hisoka's letter. It's a Reply to the appraisal request for this camera obscure. 
Urges caution in using it. So Ren Hojo, the camera you left me left me to look at is a device known as the Camera Obscura. Its purpose is to capture images of the supernatural, things invisible to the naked eye. These cameras are incredibly rare, with an almost mythical status in the antiques mar market. A few have been known to exist, but this is the first I've ever seen a seen with a compound wet lens. I don't mean to frighten you, but rumor holds that, that to own a camera obscura is to invite misfortune. They say everyone who has owned one has either died, lost their mind, or gone missing. The cameras themselves have outlived many owners. While some aficionados do seek them out, the stories of previous owners meeting with such misfortune had an impact on their value as antiques. My camera obscura was left to a local family after its previous owner passed away. They graciously gave it to me. I believe yours is still usable, but please do exercise conscience in doing so. Sincerely, Hisoka Kurosawa. P.S. The cover on your camera obscura is broken, but it, see but it seems it originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while if you don't mind. I am happy to compensate. Please think it over. So if I, I should take it with me just in case. Hold on one second. I'll be right back.
I'm back everyone. Sorry for the wait. I was mainly taking care of something and then I was talking to my brother for a bit because he just woke up from a nap. So, he, so yeah, I wanted to make sure he was okay. Uh, I, I guess he was tired earlier, so yeah. Anyway, I have conies and I am starving. This looks like a report written by Yuri. It seems to be about the photo. Report by Yuri. Verified by Hitsoka. Let's see. Details of request. Find items pertaining to post. I'm not coming. Obtain them if possible. Perform shadow reading. Reading use of a postmortem photograph on a Mount Hakami as a token. Located album. Let's see. Took custom. Alright. Now, where did I put that book about Mahakami? Was it really tidying up again? Must be up, might be on one of the shelves. Let's see, I don't think this story has anything to do with what's going on right now, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer. Oh, that's not good. Mount Hikami has long been steeped in legends revolving around suicide and ghosts. Revered as a sacred place since time immemorial, it was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine maidens. Yeah, I saw them. Once, there was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into the river. Oh my god. Several days later, he returned with a torch and blade and proceeded to brutally butcher all of the shrine maidens on the mountain, tossing them into the river as he went. Well, that explains a lot! The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughter corpses of the maidens all the way down to the Pool of Purification. It is said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Fucking hell, man. Just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eye eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend goes. What? With all the maidens dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. Ooh. The ghosts of Shrymane, still drenched in those bloodied waters, have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their who meet their eyes are led to the to their deaths. They follow the woman into the water and drown themselves. Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the bodies of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago, and that all rituals and rites ceased to be performed from that day on. Hello, Texas Liberty. Uh, I'm on the th third drop. This looks like part of Rui's journal. Must have gotten mixed in here while typing. I feel bad for reading it, but... Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework, he can't cook, and he's bad at tidying up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. He loses things all the time, and whenever he doesn't have a book he needs, he blows up. He usually ends up asking Miss Kurosawa for help. One time when I was trying to sort all his books, there was one I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it's just disappeared. Miss Kurosawa found it with her shadow reading. She went went into his room on her own, then came back out a little while later with his with the missing book. She just smiled and said something about making the invisible visible. What is this shadow reading business anyway? Uh yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you stick around and enjoy the show, Texas Liberty. Anyway, this that reminds me of that one time. I was tidying up and I came across something I had never seen before. It was like Miss Corso said, the invisible became visible. It was kept inside an old box. I don't even know where it was. It, 
I put it aside to sort out later on, but when I went, went to take a proper look, it had vanished. Must have gone invisible again. It's almost sunset. We should hurry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's rock and roll. There's a local superstition warning people not to go up Mount Hikami after dusk. If you climb the mountain in the twilight hours, it'll show you a different form. It's true form. Well, so Only far I think it is Texas. Die, come here at that time. I think it is like honestly, yeah, it's been it's creepy. Uh I just had a boss fight earlier. I think that's the inn where the album was yeah. found. This must be Ichiru Manor. So, do you think you'll be able to use the camera obscura? I think you should try it out first, just to be sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Ren's camera obscura. This type of camera obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. Use the multi-shot function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage to the ghost that you photograph. Taking multiple photos at once also helps get fatal frame shots. After a multi-shot, the, the camera obscure will take longer than usual to reload the film, though. Okay, so I gotta be careful about using that. No, I have not. Texas Liberty, uh, this is my first fatal frame game, but I have heard great things about the series, so... Yeah. I decided to really decide to play this one. Keep in mind that multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard camera obscure lessons don't work on Ren's camera. Okay, feel free to take my pick. Okay, so... Oh yeah, no, that takes a bit longer. Is the camera working? Yeah. Well, you look like, look like you, so, so yeah. yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, we should go. We should go. I hear the older part of this inn, the part that's further back inside, it was part of some temple or shrine. Hmm. After it became an inn, the proprietor's family lived here, but it doesn't look like anyone's been here It was a massive a landslide that hit Mount Hikami. Maybe they were all buried under the rubble. Hey, it looks like the album you asked for was found in the old building. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, it looks, sure it looks that way. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at them. Like, maybe they should put out a, a Fatal Frame collection, honestly. I, I would honestly play that. Is the power to photograph the invisible. I wonder if this is the same as the power of Soko uses for shadow reading. Well, let's take a look at that. Drowned woman. Thing I have good thing I reacted fast to that. Okay, that's what Yuri said too. I've been getting pretty good at, at doing fat. Huh? The dog kind of shut itself. Might have been the wind. Whoa, okay. Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. Woman in the shadows.
I'm not sure about the VR part, but maybe. Nice. Nice. Found, got some film now. that sound? Hmm? Hands waving in the dark. Hmm. I don't think this is the way to the place Hisoka mentioned. Am I never going to be able to check the second floor? Come on! By the way, guys, in case you're wondering why am I taking pictures of just ghosts lingering around, it's because you get points for taking spirit photographs, and you can use points to buy things. See the reason? No, you don't. Take this! Shutter chance! May you rest in peace. Sorry, I uh, I am a battler, so if I start getting a bit excited just from taking pictures, it's just that's just how I handle fighting ghosts. But this is how I handle fighting in general. get scared scared fighting the ghosts as long as I can keep my eye on them I'm fine this must be the room where Hisoka found that album yeah yeah now yeah, it, it seems, seems so. so huh There. Go 
people don't know it has materialized. Let's see, how long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed up half my inn. All I have left is that old album of postmortem photographs, the one left by my father. I don't even I don't even know who these photos are of, but it's the last vestige of family I have. How long have I spent here wallowing in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all, then there will only be me. I think I think I'll end up in the observation room on the roof. The sunset is lovely. Oh man. I guess this is I guess this belongs to the owner. Camera's reacting to the note. Using this note as a token, I might be able to find a trace that will lead me to some info about that photograph. <laughs> what? Large hole in the bottom of the wall. I could see soil from the mountain through it. Like, I am tense. I'm gonna say this right now. It may seem like I'm keeping my cool, but I am still pretty tense about what's gonna just come out. You never know when ghosts are gonna show up. So yeah, I am still pretty tense. But I'm alert. I do feel bad for them, in all honesty. Huh? According to the stories, after the landslide, the owner of the inn moved to the third floor. They say he burned himself to death there, or that he threw himself into the lake. A common enough story. Common enough story. Tell me about it. Since then, they say that if you look up at the third floor veranda, you'll see someone looking back down. Really? Really? I'm sorry. You can see the water on the first floor through the gaps on the floor. I don't think I can get through here.
unless you want to bet I might see the owner here. Okay. God, I feel like I have to keep holding my breath whenever I have to pick up a freaking item! Not cool, guys! Ceiling has collapsed, blocking the hallway. I don't think I can get back to the stairway without cutting through the rooms. I don't like that sound. My flashlight won't penetrate the thick glass. Perhaps the landslide buried the building even up to this floor. Honestly, making me really tense. Just I feel like I have to really be on my guard. Jesus. God. Guess I'm finding some medicine, right? Is everyone still here? Or is everyone just keeping quiet because they're trying to focus on what's going on? Locked. Sorry, I had to unplug my controller. It's fully charged, I know. Suicide note? Right. What is that, like Bloody Mary? Suicide note, huh? Even before the landslide, there was always strange going on around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were a lot of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away. That girl came back each year to look for her friend, like some sort of pilgrimage. 
Countless people have gone missing here over the years. We're all used to it by now. My father was spirited away too, as as the folklore is Keiji Watari. Next it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I thought anyone will think to come looking for me. Oh, well, Chris, don't say that. You made me look you made me look behind me. I'm already tense, could you not? Photos identical to the psychic fo photographs taken with the camera obscure could break seals blocking your access. Take a photo that matches the one you already have. actually got the drop on me son of a bitch
Oh, hello. Well, that would help a lot. I think I'll wait, though, before I really think about it. Tokens, here we go. Okay, it was okay, it was like that. Okay. There we go. I know someone I know someone's in there. Watch out! Fatal frame! That's actually creepy, Arcane. Honestly, earlier, like a few days ago, while I was looking in my closet for uh, for something, I forget what it was. I had my I had the light in my room on. All of a sudden, it went off, and there was nothing wrong with it. I was able to turn it right back on afterwards. But it was like, all of a sudden, it just went off. Like it just turned off on its own. So, yeah, sometimes I feel like, if I'm going to be honest, guys, it feels, sometimes it feels like my uncle's still lingering around, you know? I do feel like part, part of it is because I do miss him, but I don't know. Like, maybe it gives me a bit of a comfort to, I guess, to just think that he's still lingering around. So how's everyone doing? Who's still watching? I wouldn't say haunting, but his but I feel like he's still lingering. Hi! Fatal frame! Okay, that legit... That legit startled me. Okay, dude, back off! Oh, 
shit. He's... Ugh. Oh, what's up with his back? Whoa! Yeah! This is an aggressive ghost! Fatal frame times four! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tougher than the normal ghost, let's just say that. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. But I suppose that was always the case. This mountain and death go together, side by side. Mikomori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens, a sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, easing their passing to the other side. I like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Well, now you can rest. Is that the man who wrote this note? Maybe I'll find something upstairs. Rui, are, Rui, you, are you all right? Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Good. Uh. Well, hopefully that go that guy can pass on now. Arcane, in that case, maybe my uncle's still lingering around to make sure we're okay. That's my theory, at least. Now, let's see what's in here. Oh, hi! You know, that has happened a few times. That doesn't surprise me anymore. Got a nice picture, though. Nice fa Nice expression there. The stairs leading down down are buried under earth. It doesn't look like it can go down this way. run out of health, it will protect you. It's a revive stone, basically. Nice. Hopefully I won't need it. Uh, I did take a bit of damage.
and transfixed by such. <laughs> Him when he was reliving that last moment before he died. Shit. That explains how he went through the window. And that explains the glass shards in his back. He jumped, hit the window. If his neck snapping didn't kill him immediately, I'm pretty sure one of those glass shards pierced his heart. Ugh. Sunset beckons. It's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. Well, shit. I'm pretty sure that was the owner. Think I, I don't think I really got. I don't know if I got rid of him. I don't know if I sent sent him back. Ugh. God, it always makes me nervous just to pick up a goddamn item. God, man staring at something. What's he looking at? Huh? The whole room is charred. That man might have left something behind. If he did, it would likely be hidden. Looks like there was a fire. This must be where the innkeeper moved. Rui, what are you doing? Hmm? Rui! 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 What's wrong? What's wrong? Is... Is... Is something there? Something there? Whoa! No! You're not taking Rui! I won't let you! Where are you? Teleporting everywhere. Oh. 
Whoa! Shutter chance! Think so. Huh. This is the end of you. Oh, that was close. What were you doing? What were you doing? Can't you remember anything? Can't you remember anything? Let's go home. Let's go home, okay? You cannot leave the mountain. Huh? What? Oh, I... I thought I got rid of you! You again? Laugh at that! She's got a lot of health. No! Get off of her! Nice try. My turn. There. I don't think so. Fatal frame! Back to the spirit world from whence you came! We're leaving. <laughs> the album of postmortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. His name was Keiji Watari. He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spit, spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watari collect post-mortem photographs in the nearby town. On Mount Hekami, water itself was defiled. It was defied. Defiled? Defiled? Yeah. 
It seems like Watari wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up an inn, set up the inn by that point. He remodeled it from the old unused shrine. I think he thought the extra religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day, the folklorist went missing. Several people formed the search party, but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to have been lost to the woods. My father, my father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was that photo album. He was soaking wet when he got back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had his, this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. Damn, that's a good shiny dark ride. Damn, dude. Nice. The next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I'd forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building after the landslide. But now I understand why my father left, left Watari too. These picture photos are so beautiful. Eiji Watari, a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikari. Hisoka probably has some books about him. We should get back. Rui needs to rest. The photo album left behind behind by the innkeeper was put together by folklorists who lived on Mount Hakami. As Ren and Rui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Rui to suicide. Then, through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Rui left the mountain with more questions than, them, than when they started. Yeah, baby! <sighs> Man, the ba- Man, the tougher go ghosts are actually just- Whew, they are terrifying. Interlude, Shadow Reading, Yuri Kozu Kozukata. With Hisoka still missing, Yuri recalls what she witnessed on the mountain. Fuyuhi taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the pool of purification. These, di these disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hikami House is some, hor some kind of horrifying secret. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. Spectres, there we go. I got some pretty good I got some pretty good pictures. a picture from the Capiscura that shows anything. A dark silhouette, standing on what looks like a body of water. The other photos are no good. They're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. This doesn't tell me anything. Maybe there are more clues in the sofa's room.
Soka put this desk here for me. This used to be Hisoka's bedroom, but she freed it up for me to use. So, uh, so honey, if you if you feel like she's there, uh, well, it's uh, it does sound like she was a really nice person and wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm not sure what to do with it. Let's see if we can't find a way to find Hisoka, because this is bad. Like, Hisoka just disappeared. Huh? Forgive me. What? Uh, what was that? Is there something in that room? Great. Oh, I'm getting paranoid. Aka Akari Narumi. Most of it's been erased, making it difficult to read. Subject, Akira Naruyumi. Client, Kyoko Naruyumi. Token, personal photo. Details, erased. Subject, deceased. Nothing I could do. Let's see, a girl in a school uniform. It's been crumpled up so many times, I can't make out the face. See, hon. <sighs> you can look down from the shop from here. leaving the room. She liked to sit at her desk and relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her de stress. Check it out then. Don't like on how the doors just slowly open. Like, come on, you're in your own house. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, 
Is this it? Let's see. Right. Here it is. Right. Hey, Miku Hinasaki. Case closed is written in large red letters. Let's see. Subject Miku Hinasaki. Client Sachi Iyami. Personal friend. Details. Disappeared searching for her missing brother, but was but was found. Mother of one, father unknown. Disappeared again three years later. Photog photographer. Client is her daughter's guardian. Search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Sub sus suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. Let's see. Sumugi Kat Katashina. Let's see. Family physician. Personal photo. Unstable family. Tendency to blame herself for strife with her half sister. Bears self inflicted wounds. Oh, great. Oh. I swear to God, this game is dark, guys. I hope you can handle handled the dark subject matter. Let's see. Strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Search abandoned. Contacted by the family. Matter has been turned over to the police. Have been asked to drop the investigation. Hmm. Sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. Gary. Uh, after fa emotionally unstable after family lost in an accident. Stuff going to school a few days ago. Neighbors say she left home as normal. Claim to see things others can't. Not recovered. Taken into custody. Observation required. Save Lee in my custody. Believe close attention is necessary. We'll look after her for a while. Just look at that. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. Hmm. Well, now that I found the key, let's check that desk. I do appreciate the fact that you guys are still sticking with me. Like, even though this game is starting to scare you, I do appreciate it, guys. Take a look. Haruka Mimose. There's a file tucked away. Let's see. Haruka Mimose. Haruki Himino. Personal photo. Client and subject used to be cafe regulars. A group suicide was reported at the time of disappearance. Connection unknown. A quiet, gentle girl seemed keen to please others. Uruka Mimosa. Compared to her photo with Fuyuhi, she has a somewhat darker expression. Miyu Hinasaki. Looks like someone else who went missing on the mountain. Miyu Hinasaki. Client. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm not playing as. I'm not playing as him, so. Let's see. Went, went looking for her birth mother, missing since subject's childhood. Uttered something about Mount Hikami according to her talent agent. Said to possess psychic powers, Klein is very worried. So this is me. A cassette tape from an answering machine. The label shows a date with and a client's name. I get what you mean, hon. I I didn't like the fact that I had to exercise the kids. But yeah, just Person file for one Kazuya Sak Sakaki. I've heard his convention name before. Let's see, Kazuya Sakaki, client Ren Hojo. P 
personal photo. Details known. Uh, t details. Known to wander off. Went incommunicado after while gathering post mortem photographs for rent, awaiting possible contact. Gives a bad impression. Seems quite unlike Ren. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. Soka's journal. Let's see. Met with potential client. Doesn't know whether subject is alive or dead. Says she may have wandered off somewhere. Maybe waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up. Said something I shouldn't shouldn't have. I asked what she do what she do when we find her. She left and said when she gets back there are things I want to there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it all. I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose. I have to go. This final list is the missing person case she was working on. For I may be able to track her down if I use this photograph as a token. Well, well, time to head back to the mountain then. If we can, if we can find Hisoka, at least that'd be, that would be great. Alright guys, what do you say we head back to the mountain and see if we can't find Hisoka? Hopefully she's still hopefully she's still alive. <sighs> but she's in trouble though. Because she did drop her camera obscure and it washed up washed up in the river. Alright, let's see. Huh? Going out Hisoka going outside. This time, I'm I'm the one who'll save you. Using the caps camera obscura, Yuri found a number of missing person case files connected to Mount Hikami. She's now more determined than ever to head back to the mountain and find Hisoka. Find Haruka Mimose. For you, he had been searching for her friend, a girl called Haruka Mamose. Yuri finds a photo of Haruka in Hisoka's desk and uses it to follow her trace, leading her back to Mount Hikami. Let's get started! Spirited away. Yuri Kozukata. Kozu Kozu At, after finding a missing person file in Hisoka's desk, Yuri realizes Hisoka had been lurking for a Haruka Mimose. She recalls what Fuyuhi said when they passed by, when they passed the Shrine of Dolls. Haruka, she's here. With this in mind, Yuri heads to the Shrine of Dolls, hoping Hoping that if she finds Haruka, she may just learn of Hisoka's whereabouts too. Let's hope. Right, guys, let's hope. Okay. Hisoka must have been trying to find her. Find, follow Haruka's trace. I 
I could use this actually. I know I just I basically just used a shit ton of points, but now but honestly I feel like I could really use that loader upgrade. Because sometimes it takes a bit before I could take another photo. Try this on for size. Let's move on then. Honestly, guys, are the ghosts... Are the ghosts really starting... Are the ghosts starting to get to you guys, or are you alright once you see them? Get back to that shrine of dolls.
Jamaica. I came here because of the sunset. It was so beautiful it made me want to cry. It was the same as the sunset I saw when I survived. The sun seemed to sink into the mountain. I had to come and see it. Melting away into the waters of the mountain seems natural. It seems right. I feel like the others are telling me. The ones that didn't survive. The sunset is drawing closer. Maybe I'm drawn to it. Oh! oh. Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Little too close. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why don't you back off? Ah! gotten the other one. <sighs> okay, yeah, no, the, the ghosts are starting to get more aggressive. Ghosts are starting to get tougher. Fork in the road. The plants here are slightly different than the ones below the pool. It must be close to the unfathomable forest. This way. All right then. I saw you. Oof. Just... This. Let's see. Since the bridge is out. Go around. Okay. Hmm? What's this?
Wait. That's the guy that killed all the shrine maidens! Remember? It said that he had, that he had a that he had a torch and knife. No, you don't! Oh shit, he's got a lot of health. A lot of damage. There you are. Ah! Hopefully the shrine mains will be a little more at peace now that I got r rid of that guy. At least I hope I did. Huh? Thought I got rid of him! A murdered shrine maiden. Man gouging out eyes. Maybe I'm just seeing a trace then.
this now? For you, he didn't see the sunset. Only I could see it. That's why I had to go alone. The light of the setting sun lives on in the mountain. I wish for you, he could have seen it. Is everyone still here? Everyone okay? somewhere in the shrine. The last time I tried to get in here... Hi. Okay, okay, I don't like this. I'm officially freaked out now. Oh, oh shit, I don't like this. at all. Now I'm officially freaked out because of all the friggin' marionettes. Man, now I know why I'm... Now I know why Markiplier hates mannequins. Oh, great. It's a room full of, it's a room full of dolls. Hmm? Crush lens, a lens that deals more damage to targets based on its level. Oh, hey, that'll that'll help a lot. To use it, equip it to your camera obscura and press Y when you have enough spirit power. Hmm. I I see, Ryan. Are you doing okay? Since we survived, I felt like every day could be my last. But I feel closer to Fuyuhi than ever. It's nice sharing secrets with her, sharing my guilt. We often talk about the past. I remember a lot of things from back then, like how her, like how her face was the first picture I drew in kindergarten. We split the sheet of paper and drew each other. I remember growing taller than her and how she, she stayed at my house while hers was being renovated. We have to talk about that kind of stuff. Most of all, I remember singing the song of memories at kindergarten graduation. I looked over at Fuyu Fuyuhi and she was already looking at me, waving. Whenever I hear that song, it makes me want to go back there to that time. 
My whole life has been flashing before my eyes. Of all the moments, that's the one I want to keep on living over and over. Is there something under the doll display? Let's see. Hey, there's a trapdoor here. Haruka might have gone down there. Well, Gray wouldn't budge though. There must be a way to open it. Hmm. I see that. Find me if you can. Find you. <laughs> oh, what? Showing me where to find the hidden energy. So go to. So I have to go to one of the hanging trees that are that are outside. Great. Not. Uh. Well. At least it'll get me closer. At least it'll help me get out of here. Huh? Wait, guys? Where are the dolls? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Officially freaked out now. Okay. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure some of you remember there were some dolls out in the hallway, and now they're gone. Like human-sized dolls, by the way. Scales are just feel like they're gonna stand up all at once. I decided to conduct a memorial ritual of 
of sending a doll down river, as is described in Mount Hakami folklore. Here in the mountain, the flowing waters have long been defied. Deified? I think deified. Life, life springs from the water, then returns to it. All of the bones in the cave beneath the shrine have been laid into the waters. This was probably considered to be a way of returning life to the water. The shrine was built upon the pure water river with a walkway crossing it. I found numerous dolls at the bottom of the river and downstream. These dolls were likely placed on the water as a form of memorial for those who they depicted. Guys, I don't know about you, but I am officially on edge. Purifying embers. Just a doll falling down. Not that bad. This door is being held shut. See the white face of a large doll behind the blinds. That must be the main shrine. Was just a, that was a reflex shot for fuck's sake. Oh god, I don't like this. Uh, thank God my. Thank God my reflexes, my reflexes are on hot. Uh, okay.
Okay, okay, at the very least, whatever's possessing those dolls is pretty weak, is a pretty weak spirit. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of comfort in there. Nice joke, Ryan. <laughs> okay. Still, okay. Hi. Yeah, okay, okay. There's at least a bit of comfort right there that... Nice. There's at least a bit of comfort there that the, at least whatever's possessing these dolls are weak. They're just weak spirits. Yeah, I saw that too, right? One shot and they're down. Ninety film. Hey, I saw you get closer. You will back the fuck off with that. God, this place is giving me. Yeah, I like you're. It's fine. Just, uh, can we not talk about things that go on in my Discord in in the chat, please? Man, this place is giving me giving me both heebies and jeebies. is reacting to something. There! Sounded like something fell into the bushes. called Effigy. I think it was made to look like me. Huh? Oh no, not again. Whoa, whoa!
Fatal frame! Running around, they're doing. It's hard to keep them, keep them in sight. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not sure how to answer that, Colin, but still just uh, ah. let's see. Right, I gotta go this way. Mannequin parts, that's not good. Huh? Mannequin parts. Dream, those dreams again where I'm playing with the kids I started looking forward to playing with them sometimes I don't even want to wake up I looked into it and the games we've been playing actually used to exist one is called spirited away everyone hides each other's dolls and whoever finds theirs last is spirited away that is they go out of the game wooden dolls were usually were usually wooden dolls were usually used made from the sticks of trees on the mountain the next game was called Ghost Marriage. Everyone hides their dolls except one person. 
quote, the outsider. That person then chooses a partner of the opposite sex and searches for their doll. It's a bit like hide and seek, only the owner of a doll that's found, found is said to be bound, that is, married to the outsider. However, if the outsider finds the wrong doll, then the owner of, of that doll becomes the outsider instead. Hmm. My theory is that these games are based on actual rituals that took place on the mountain. In my dreams, the games go on until the children disappear into the mist. I wonder what would happen if they took me with them. Not a good idea! abandoned for many years, the Shrine of Dolls has now undergone significant reconstruction. In the past, local legends tell that the Shrine used so-called effigies as offerings. These effigies are likely the old dolls that were found inside. The road to the Shrine was improved, and so the number of visitors gradually increased. There was no end to the visitors bringing their own dolls to add to those left outside. Assuming this practice to be harmless, no effort has been made to prevent it. As we were repairing the old dolls, we learned that each of them is engraved with a name. We also found tiny teeth, bones, and small bundles of hair tucked away inside. Were the, these mere keepsakes or perhaps something more? The purpose of the shrine has since become clear. It appears that it appears these dolls were believed to contain the souls of deceased children and were likely offered to the shrine as some kind of ritual. We also learned of a cave below the shrine known as the Wound Cavern. It housed several human remains. Perhaps initially, it was not dolls offered up at the shrine, but people. It seems the cavern may be where the bodies were disposed. We, we are considering renovating the cavern into a storage space, placing the bones into dolls of, of their own and holding a joint memorial service for them all. here T
Take this! Fatal Frame! much damage. Ugh, all right. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, the falling doll trick doesn't scare me anymore. Found, so I found basically the ultimate film for for exercising ghosts. Nice. It looks like it only had like one or two shots to it. Huh? Oh, hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Fatal Frame! one then.
Fatal Frame! Stone. That helps. I think I think so. I think so, Colin. Restore lens. That will, oh, that would help a lot. Buying all these purifying embers, I might as well use one. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm back. Found the effigy. I should try placing the doll here. There we go. Yeah, we can play I think I got a boss ghost here. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. Fatal frame! Yeah, this is definitely a boss ghost. Whoa! My effigy to block her to block my camera shot. 
What? Uh -huh. Go of me. Did. Shit, I was about to. Damn it, I was about to use an item, but then she grabbed me. Shit. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, guys, can we admit that this is a boss ghost? Full on. What? Fatal frame! I had to use a mirror stone. I was about to go into the... I was about to go into the... Uh, menu to heal, but then she grabbed me! Oh, great. Alright. Into the womb cavern we go. Carrying a relic. I'm just glad to be out of that shrine though. It was giving me me the absolute heebie jeebies. Water's purring out from within the cave. There appears to be a big open area inside. Drop off with the water swelling out. Looks like something is floating down there. Statue. Whoa. Okay. 
guys. That's a lot of ceiling tags. And that's never a good thing. A black box sits in the hollow along the passageway. The purifying embers basically dry me off because I'm more susceptible to spirit attacks if I'm if I'm soaking wet. Well, it's broken. I won't be able to open it. flowers are great on the walk. Seems I can't get out this way. Looks like it's filled with dark water. There's an arm poking out. Huh? Haruka! 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 You 
alive. For you here. Huh? Uh, I'm not in. No. Uh, Stay with me, Haruka. Come on, Haruka. Uh, <laughs> ah, great. <sighs> Oh, God, not good. Back off. I mean it. way I came. No shortcut here. Yeah, sorry, hiccup. The person who asked you to come find me, was it Fuyuhi? Yes. Yes, it was. It was. We're getting out of here. Getting, getting out of this hell. Forgive me. Probably, probably use one. I've been finding so many of them. Won't, won't be bad to use to use one to drop myself off. Why did I 
God, I got out of there. Give me. Old written, hat written, no. I must change those. I must kill them all. Every shrine maiden. I can't stand their eyes. I must gouge them all out. They've seen too much. Uh, that belongs to the killer of all the shrine maidens. Haruka! Your power is mine! For you here again? <laughs> Fatal frame! <laughs> Fatal frame! Gotcha! Thanks for the health. Back off!
At least I got her out of there. What were you doing there? I saw the setting sun. It was drawing me in. I was becoming a part of it, as if I were melting. Well, what's important is that you're back. Miracle you're not hurt. Where is Fuyuhi? Huh? Huh? Is she here? Uh, I... I hear a song. That song. Haruka, please. Please. Just try, Just try and get, and some, get rest some rest for now, for now okay? okay? Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I better give her some time to recover. I have to tell Ren and Rui about his sofa. Uh, the fatal frame comes from me, t me, from me attack, from me snapping their photo at w in mid attack. Basically, I have to wait until they start attacking me, and then if I, and then if I take a photo while they're mid attack, it does a lot of damage, and I could do multi sh multi camera shots at once. Does a, me, it's a pretty good moment. It's a great way way to really rack up the damage. Sorry to intrude. So he agreed that w we should come by as often as we can until Miss Kurosawa comes back. I think someone be here for you could be a huge comfort at times like this. be having a terrible nightmare. Don't look at me. Ren! Huh? Huh? Ren, it's time. We'll leave now. You should get some rest. I know. Good night. Good night. Oh, 
That's a hell of a nightmare. Oh, she's dripping in sweat. Oh, shit. It's just like the memory of someone had touched Aruka in the cave. I need to know more. Maybe if I ask her. Resting downstairs. Haruka? Uh, Haruka? Ah, hell. Go. Huh? Huh? Finds the missing Haruka Mimose in a reliquy in, in a cave beneath the Shrine of Dolls. She takes the girl back to the shop. Haruka is in no state to talk. I can't explain what happened to her. That night, Haruka is visited by Fuyuhi's ghost, which takes her back to the mountain. Ah, I had a feeling I was going to get a B. I could have done that better. gonna be the last chapter and then I'm gonna have to call it but Re last time Renz was not too was not too long from the writings he found at Ichiru Manor Ren learns of a folk of a folklorist who lived at Mount Hakami Ren sets out to the unfathomable forest to see if the rumors of a disappearing house are true Let's rock and roll. The Veiled House, Ren Hojo. In the course of their investigation, Ren and Rui learn of Keiji Watari, a folklorist who settled on Mount Hekami. His writings are certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its peculiar folklore. Ren and Rui happen across a videotape that may indicate the way to Watari's residence. I've been at this for about f six hours now. For you, he took her own life, and Rui attempted suicide. The ghost of a shrine maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found Haruka trapped in. Is the key to all these events lying in the mountain's dark past? A folklorist, Keiji Watari, used to live there. His notes may shed some light on this mystery. 
The video tape Rui found is on the desk. It seems to be related to the folklorist. I should take a look at it. Let's take a look. It's in the wound cave. Damn, it was just in there. What? I didn't see any. I don't remember seeing this house here before. Hmm. I don't like this. Huh. It doesn't look like anyone's lived here for a while. Whoa. Oh, part of the floor is missing. A phone. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> A box. I've got to go upstairs. I'm on the second floor now. Oh boy. Hmm? I saw that. You're here. Huh? Oh. I think I heard something. Oh, I can feel a shiver down my shoulder. Hmm. How much you want to bet I'm going to have to explore that house? Is there a third floor? I'm going to climb up the ladder. Incoming! <laughs> it's a report written in Rui's handwriting, along with commentary on the video. The diary found at the old inn mentioned a folklorist who lived on Mount Hakami. I found more information on him, including his name, name in books of the on the occult. This folklorist, Keiji Watari, went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries of the sect living there. He then went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him abound. They say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something the mountain wanted kept hidden, and so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. There, This is the origin of one of Mount Hikami's more recent stories of a haunted house.
while the veracity of this is unclear, I looked into the into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I contacted the publisher and received the following response. Dear Rui Kaga Kaga Kagamiya. Thank you for contacting us. The video you're looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. This video prompted a huge amount of feedback from customers. The video the tape was found near a river on Mount Hikami. It is unknown who filmed it. There are many sections too damaged by water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited it together. The master copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a search of the mountain, but were unable to find find who shot the film or even the house's location. Now that entering the unfathomable far forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look into this on your own. Koji Kakimoto. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine of Dolls. After that, what we we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's likely that it really is the former home of Keiji Watari. Hmm? Hello? Ren speaking. Ren speaking. Ren. Hmm? Kazuya. See? I've been trying to get in touch with you. Yeah. I was worried. Word. Listen, about what I said to you before. I'm getting married. What? What? You are. You are. Yeah. That's... That's... Wow. Wow. Um, congratulations. Um, congratulations? Uh, and um, who's the, who's lucky, the bride? lucky bride? Anyone, Anyone I, know? I know? Ever since... I saw her picture. Will you die with me? Oh boy. <gasps> Mine died. Okay. Oh, I'm officially worried. Shrine of Dolls into a cave. This may be the same route Yuri took. We'll start by going there. This looks like the notes of Rui's. Maybe she dropped them. I wonder if I could read this. Let's see. Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a recurring dream about a ceremony from his childhood. As a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent a summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kagirui. He's mentioned playing in an old house and in a shrine on the mountain and some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Hojo doesn't talk about his past much, so what he has told me I remember clearly. Is he dreaming of that ceremony? I went to festivals as a child, but all I remember is I'm having a good time. Does it sound like the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about is any fun? He often cries, don't look at me in his sleep. He o he's always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. He won't even look Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kozikata in the eye sometimes. He doesn't have the issue with me, though. Are the women he's dreaming about really that frightening? Maybe I'll find. Maybe I'll also find some more. Find out some more about that postmortem photograph. All right, guys, let's go. Let's head back to that blasted cave and see what we can find, huh? So who's still here? Mr. Sakaki, he was helping you look for postmortem photographs, wasn't he? He went missing. I'm just glad to know he's still alive. Hopefully. Ah. 
All right, back into the back into this damn shrine we go. Rui? Damn it, I thought I got rid of you. Don't talk to me. I'm not supposed to talk to the living. Rui? Huh? What? It's playtime. You're the groom. Now find your bride. What was that? Rui, where did you go? Damn it. I can't go into that cave without Rui. Go. This is bad. This is really bad. There you are! Whoa!
wasn't expect I wasn't expecting a spirit spirit to try and jump out at me. Not just me saying nope. Let's see. Uh, I think I'll take a wrong turn somewhere. children are around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, accessible through the cave. Shrine of Dolls 4. Tonight's dream was stifling. It was night, and several men carrying burning flames spent a long time exploring the area underneath the main shrine. They carried a huge reliquary underground, burying it where no one could ever find it. That white-haired girl was sleeping inside that box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. I didn't have what she wanted. At least, I felt like I didn't. I remember feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. Where 
Where's Rui? I hope she's okay. Trace. I have no idea where she went. <sighs> the only place I haven't checked is that what is that is that flooded area downstairs. I'm gonna have to check it, aren't I? Might have to. Children are playing. Sometimes I wake up at night feeling their presence. The following morning, those that I know I've put away are moved somewhere else. The more this happens, the more clearly I hear the sounds of playing, and the more often I have dreams where I'm among the children, playing with them. I can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of them. Last night, I felt like I was being watched. I awoke to find a white-haired girl staring at me. She said, don't worry, your daddy daughter is playing with the doll you fixed. After that, she disappeared. Those eyes. It looks like she could see everything. She even seemed to answer the very question that was on my mind. Great. Damn, she really was in there. I'm an idiot. You, you all right? You all right? Yes. 
seems to be okay. I have to find the way to the veiled house. Yuri said there's an entrance to a cave below the doll display in the front shrine. Boy, I feel stupid. I should have checked. I honestly should have checked in there. Huh? I got some items out of it. frame For now, let's focus on let's focus on seeing that veiled house. <laughs> you found me. You are you're th the girl. You didn't keep it with you. My token. Your token? Did you lose it? But our promise. I thought I got- I thought I exercised her. Let's see. There it is. Thanks. You, you know, I've been waiting. Hmm? Hmm? There's someone to choose with. 
What are you what are you talking about? I it's not important. I understand now. Well, I don't understand, I don't understand it at all. all. The girl. She's been waiting too. For the person with her token.
Whoa! Timed it wrong. Shit. How about that? Iris plate key. I guess it's the key to that door. Damn. Well, let's see what's past here. Oh, here it is. Ren. It's the veil that house. Come on. He's, he's Let's go in. Let's go in. to explore an old, an old worn down house that tends to disappear. Missed that. We just rest it over and it won't open. Damn it. Nice arcane. The moisture it won't open. Frank! I really went into him with that fatal frame. Let's see. 
There's a peculiar custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered, but why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain high. Also, the altar has been trained at the top of the wall. The wood in this room is, is black and it gives off an odd smell. Probably mold. God, she would not. Kazuya? Really? Is that him? This is just like like that picture you were looking at. Kazuya. Kazuya. Kazuya come here because that's really good. Still more for us. Whatever is closing, closing the door, I won't be able to open. Music kicked up, and I don't like it. Times four! Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. Boy, she surprised the shit out of me.
Damn. Guys, the ghosts are getting more aggressive. More numerous, too. Portraits of the deceased line line the lintel. Dampness is blackened in the photos, making it hard to make out the faces. Man, three ghosts, one after another. There are two memorial tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar. Just want to make sure. The scroll hangs in the alcove. The surface is too tattered for me to see what was on it. Everyone still here? How's everyone's uh, hearts? Postmodern photography made its way over from the west alongside with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped with surviving family members deal with their grief. The postmodern photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here in the Mount Hikami region, especially, seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos are the work of a scientist named named Kunihiko. Also, Kunihiko Aso, having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe he had some degree of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find those words have a certain resonance. Is everyone still alive? Like, my chat got real quiet. flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is a source Yeah, no, I'm done after this chapter. Woo! I get you, Skull Kid. Ugh. Anyway. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty, as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Hikami is where one could die a proper death. I see, Hurricane. It has long been 
It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous des destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hakami sect taught that upon dying, people return to water. Here in the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to water upon death rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this scenery, I can, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. Hmm. The label has been left blank. Shelf is packed with old texts and tiny boxes. The moisture has made the pages stick together, so I can't read what's inside. Right, hun. Human sacrifices, boxes, and another world. Great. that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water? That then implied they are trapped within the mist. Look on this desk has no dust on it, as if someone was just writing in it. It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. It was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on, take on the memories of the dying and therefore return to water themselves. In doing so, it was believed that the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would enter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show, show they were still alive live by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related, but what did the maidens who become pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or the hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground, within the very earth itself. Here in the mountain, it is said to lie within the water applying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death that would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquies that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allow those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop the resistance.
The ladder leads up the stairs. Just like in the last part of the video. Left the notebook behind when it disappeared. This looks like a notebook of the folklorist. Could that ghost just now have been? Mount Hakami seems to have both been both revered and feared as a mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where shrine mains kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today, the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper let, kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was unable to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso. After taking his postmortem photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountain on the photograph the maidens. I have heard that his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see though these photos of the shrine maidens taken with this special camera, I'm certain I could come a closer to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Hakami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. Kunihiko Aso. Is Dr. Aso somehow involved in this? This is pouring into the room. That's not a good sign. I should get out of here. Was that the folklorist just now? The fog looks like the fog is is ready is about ready to reclaim the house. Folklorist? Bones are all... Really? 
Get off her! Whoa! Shutter! Inside this house. I must hurry. There's a note lying where that ghost was. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it has become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion that only the invited can find? It is different from other postmortem photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Is she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of blood from that photograph. They were, they were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. Was that one? Was that one of Keiji Watari's memories? I have to get out of here. Damn, whatever did that to him, him really contorted and twisted his body. I gotta get out of here though. The fog is reclaiming the house. You again! Huh? 
honey, no, it's the... It's the man... It's the man who slaughtered all of those shrine maidens. Gouged out their eyes, too. Reveal yourself! There you are. Stab is really fast. Damn it, mirror stone. Damn it, I have no I have no room. Bust out the heavy film. You are. Fatal frame times four. There's nothing but thick forest. I can't get out this way. <sighs> Son of a bitch. He exercised him once before, but it looks like he's very hardy. Oh, shit. Uh, another maiden!
fatal frame! Back off, times four! No! Okay, this is getting ridiculous. This game's getting harder, man. Shit! Didn't see her! Fatal Freight! Times four! Let's get out of here. Huh. Huh. What was that? 
Was that the folklorist? I guess so. I guess so. Just what is going on in this mountain? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is Mr. Sakaki here on the mountain too? <laughs> Just like the folklorist. Enough. Enough. I think that's enough go I think that's an enough of it spirit investigating for one night. Also to answer your question from earlier, Al, I was thinking of, about doing DBD, but then I saw Fatal Frame like came out and I really wanted to wanted to play it for you guys. Plus, I have not done a Halloween game all month. Like, you know, full on like single player Halloween like horror game. set out to find the folklorist's house, relying on clues from a video recording. As they passed through the Shrine of Dolls, the white-haired girl from Ren's dreams appeared. She asked why he didn't bring her token, then vanished. Ren and Rui arrived at the Veiled House, where they discovered several of Keiji Watari's writings on the customs and beliefs surrounding Mount Hikami. They escaped the house, only to see it vanish in a thick veil of mist. HOLY SHIT! That's what I like to freaking see! next time because honestly I'm exhausted I think that's I think that's gonna be enough for one night guys so I want to say say thank you everyone so much for watching I hope you guys have been enjoying my playthrough of fatal frame made in the black water man this is I see why a lot of people why fatal frame is a beloved series because God it is good on the on the creep factor it doesn't particularly scare me, but I do like the aspect of how you fight off the ghosts. Like, it's so jarring, and I and the fact that I have to wait for the right time and all that. Like, it can really ramp up the tension in terms of fighting off those ghosts. But yeah, that so yeah, I do see why people would like Fatal Frame, and I'll probably be streaming it again uh, later on this week. Tomorrow, I'm pro... For Halloween, I'm probably going to be streaming Phasmophobia with Killshot if he's up. And hopefully, uh, hopefully Azure will join us. But we'll have to see what's going on. But I hope you guys really enjoyed, enjoyed this. I know I certainly do. But I want to ask before I go, what do you guys personally think of Fatal Frame? Made in a black water.
It's intense for a horror game. What about the rest of you? Like, what are your thoughts and opinions? Because I would like to hear after watching me play this for about seven hours. I prefer her to keep my blood pressure below two. Uh, a little, a little spooky for you, Jay. Fair enough. Fair enough, Ryan. Azure, what do you think? And Arcane. And that's fine, Ryan. Like, you got things to do around the house. I don't expect you to stick around. Stick around. Like, go. Like, I don't. Like. I honestly respect that you have to go help your mom. That's that's per always perfectly fine. Uh, as a reason why you weren't watching. <sighs> Alright. Well, well, I'm not sure if Azure and Arcane are uh, still watching. But, yeah, I I will say that in my terms, in my opinion, that, yeah, Fatal Frame can be intense. Like, it does not skimp on the dark and graphic imagery, whether by the diaries or just how some of the ghosts just look. Like, seriously, like, the folklorist, it looks like his body was all contorted and just, ugh. Like, he, he just did not look right. Plus, I could hear his bones popping and cracking whenever he friggin' moved. It was not right. It was unsettling. But, not to mention, the, like, the maidens are tough. Like, I like on how there are different kinds of ghosts. Like, there are, like, some of the ones that just appear, appear to randomly... Uh, do seem to have, do seem to not take so much. Yeah, those, yeah, the on the Rio, sheesh. But yeah, the, uh, like, there are some of the, you know, lesser ghosts that don't take much to get rid of. Uh, but then there are, there, there are some of the tougher ghosts, like the Maidens, and then there are the special boss ghosts. Like, I'm going to call them boss ghosts because they take a while and a lot of sh and a lot of film just to beat them. So I will say boss ghosts because due to their strength. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I but yeah, I'm I hope everyone enjoyed and I hope that you look forward to the next time I stream this. But, yeah, I'm done for tonight. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope everyone really enjoyed uh, watching me play through this. And I hope you look forward to me continuing it. Because I, I do at least want to go, go through it. Because it's a good story, too. So, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed. And until next time, everyone, this is Omega Snake signing out. And I will see you guys next time. Have a spooky Halloween.